So I was at work one time, back in Louisiana. I'm Melton, selling a carpet Mary. Stone cold. And Darren comes up to me and he says, You seen a Lonnie's gold tooth right up front there? And uh, I said, Yeah. Wonder how I got it? And Darren explained about Bertha. Lonnie's little skinny fella. And, uh, yeah, Bertha's a big old guy. And, uh, there said, Bertha found out that, uh, Lonnie was a cheating on her. Knock that tooth out. That's how we got a gold tooth there. And I said, I didn't know that. And then Darren went on to tell me another story about Lonnie. Yes, this is one of my politically correct a gasp parables you know how it's easy to have uh, folks of different type very different type not like a uh, handsome bald some copter and marrying some Chinese girls not like that what kind I like but very different type it's PC, politically correct, for them to you know, be together. And it's widely known that, uh, you know, when folks who are very different get together, their biochemistry, their bodies kind of fighting it out. And they have a lot of gas. In case you've noticed that and you've wondered, that's why. And Darren told me about how Lonnie was a chillin' at his crib. And Bertha showed up. Remember? Bertha's a big old gal. And uh, she says, I heard you've been cheating on me. Who is he? Where is you? And she started going through that place. Looking for Lonnie's girlfriend. Big gals, he only looks behind the curtains, uh, picks up that sofa, throws it across the room. Just in case, you know, hiding behind it, hiding under it. And all the while she's saying, Who is it? Who is it, Lonnie? Not that skank from down the street. Not her, is it? And Lonnie said, No, sugar. There's no one. There's just you, Bertha. And Bertha goes, not my cousin. Not my cousin from West Monroe, is it? Not her. Molly said, no, no, baby, it's nobody. And it got to where, uh, you know, they were in the bedroom there. And Bertha is staring. Lonnie down. She doesn't believe him at all. And as she's uh, staring him down there in front of that closet, yeah, there is the sound of uh, a wind uh, breaking coming from the closet. And Bertha, she knows that about the, the mixed folks uh, on the streets and their biochemistry kind of fighting it out and the gas. And she goes, no, Lonnie. Not with one of them. Not one of them. And Lonnie doesn't wait around. He, he knows what that means. That's how he lost that tooth. He takes off running. He's real quick. And Bertha, yeah, big guess he's not that quick. 
Lonnie takes off running down Powell Avenue there, fast as he can, but as fast as his, he is going. Yeah, the, the gal in the closet catches up to him. And they don't stop. They just keep running. Bertha's a real big gal. And Lonnie turns to the gal as uh, they're running. And he says, I thought I told you to keep quiet. I'm Melton, son of Carpenter and Mary. And before... You write me letters about this politically correct gas. Son of the Carpenter and Mary Parable series. But before you do that, I realize they're going to be stolen. Here's what you can do. Call from all of those military bases worldwide, those in the U.S. and those overseas. Do a 93 check call right now. 424-229-414. Make a video of that hijack call to John Melton Brady, a formerly of Monroe, Louisiana, now of Los Angeles. Don't intend to be here in uh, Linwood too long. But you can call Mr. Veranda here, as well as 424-229-414. you got to look up the number. I'll certify your mail here as well. But, yeah, you don't like uh, a politically correct gas or you like it, make that call. That hijack call, I've been asking for seven plus years for 93 checks. The checks are your phone. Make sure that lifeline's always working. Call from that military base, make that Semper Fi video of your phone not working. There. Tell your friends and your family back home. To call in front of the mayor, the governor. Reporters, of course, they're not covering this news story. Network news anchors, uh, they're talking about that, uh, who they're going to place in office this 2016 political election year. They're not talking about that. You don't get that new network news anchor. and This is a uh, under $50 phone here making this parable. Nice low depth. Uh, check out my imagery if you want to see the nice dome and handsome ball guy in a little bit higher depth. Make that call. Tell your uh, from the military base. Make the uh, tell your friends and family to make that call in front of the mayor, governor, reporters, all cops, all military, all uh, officials, local, state, federal, anybody who is somebody. Good folks aren't going to have a problem with you demonstrating the hijacking of their lifeline as well. Make that call, get their reactions for you, Semper. This is those politicians and officials who are supposed to be doing something about. It's very obvious, easily documented censorship. Those reporters, those network news anchors, make that call in front of them, then uh, get their reactions for that Semper Fi DVD or class drive to pass along at work, at church, at school. And oh yeah, after you call, tell me exactly what you think. Tell the world exactly what you think of the sun, culture, and marriage. Parables, my imagery, any of my series, any of my imagery, uh, do that. You're more likely of, of reaching me that way. Document those hijacked calls, and yeah, come see me. When you see someone other than me, my changing eyes, attractive blonde and uh, near blonde girls, on this chest, right next to that handsome ball guy, we start building Jesus' house here, the Christ complex. Be a part of that. Come see me in person, you have to. But tell me your politically correct gas story in person.